In September this year, 2012, there was quite an exciting piece of news about Element 113. We've been a bit slow catching up with it, so please forgive us. But the important thing is that Element 113 has been synthesized, in fact, for the third time, and therefore people are now reasonably confident that it has been made. Like most of the elements in this part of the periodic table, the experiment involves accelerating a light element, the nucleus of a light element, at to very high speeds, perhaps a tenth of the speed of light, and crashing it into a target of a heavier element. In this case, it was zinc, which has atomic number 30, and bismuth, that has atomic number 83, 30 plus 83 makes 113. So you imagine that there are hundreds of these, or millions and millions of these hitting the targets, and every so often one of them goes inside. You can see it's quite hard to achieve, so that you get a joint nucleus. Does it make that noise when it happens? No, I don't think so. And then... You know, my dog's going to go crazy when I edit this video. So we now have a nucleus of 113. The nucleus is quite unstable, so a short time afterwards, out from the other side, will come some sort of particle, probably nucleus of helium atom, an alpha particle, and it decays to a whole chain of other atoms. Now, from my point of view, the thing that's really exciting is that this element was made, this experiment that's just been published, was done in Japan. I have here a Japanese periodic table. It's no different from the other periodic table. And down here, we have element 113. There is a Japanese flag. What's exciting for me is that it's a wonderful demonstration about how science is now being done all over the world. This is the first element, at least in modern times, that has been discovered in Asia. I'm quite excited because there aren't any elements with the symbol contains the letter J, though in some early periodic tables in German they put iodine with a J because the German word for iodine, yod, begins with a J. So I'm quite excited that perhaps we might have a, an element with a symbol JP or something like that, which would be a real first. The day after the paper was published, I was at a reception in London where the Japanese ambassador to the UK was one of the guests. And I was introduced to him and I began by congratulating him on the synthesis of element 113. He looked a bit surprised. I think it's the first time anybody had ever congratulated him about anything chemical, but then he got really quite excited. 今年2012年の9月、とてもエキサイティングニュースがありました。それは現地番号113の現存に関する発表でした。あ、それでこちらから発表するのが